What's up guys, T-Bros TV here, and today I'm going to be making my Fortnite Chapter 2 tier list. So we're going from Chapter 2, Season 1, through 8. So, New World, uh, Top Secret, Splashdown, Nexus War, Zero Point, Primal, Invasion, and Cubed. Now I know these all say the wrong name, but oh well. I just I couldn't find one. That was all the seasons. Including season 8, season 7, all the other ones that were made already. Didn't have them all, so. We're gonna have to go with this in a different language. But, <clears throat> anyways, so. Let's start with season 1. Season 1, new map, new everything, you know, every year. It's like you were back in chapter 1 and you just started playing. And you're like, where should I land? Where should I go? What weapons are in the game and everything. And it was totally new. So, it was awesome. Um, one thing that was kind of bad with this season is it, it was kind of drawn out for like a couple or more, for like three or four months. And we were waiting for stuff like for quite a while, you know. And then we had the Star Wars event, which was amazing. We had Winterfest. Don't think we had a Fortnite Mirrors during that season. Um, maybe we did. Maybe we did. I don't, I don't completely remember. Oh yeah, we did have Fortnite Mirrors during Season 1. We had the one with the Storm King. So we had all that, but it was really spread out and everything. That was kind of the problem with it, but we had a lot going on that season. Uh, one of the big things was Star Wars and Winterfest. Those were like the best set of all of it. Um, let's see. What else we have? We had Love and War. Um, Harley Quinn was added to the game. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I'm gonna say we'll put it B because B for not bad. <laughs> All right, so season two. Um, we had a whole spy type season. We had musicals, Midas, all those like spy kind of characters, you know. Um, we had a lot of new map changes. We had the yacht. We had the grotto, grotto, or we had the shark. Um, what else do we have? The one other place by kind of like where Steamy, or not Steamy, Slurpy Swamps was at, or near there, right in that corner. And yeah, we had all those map changes. We had like new bosses. We had, um, vaults, new mythic weapons, new bosses, henchmen. Whole whole bunch of new things that were added to the game. But people were like, oh, we didn't know about they were going to add this. We didn't know they were going to add this. Um, we had like a Kingsman umbrella come to the game. We had Travis Scott this season. We had Deadpool. More Deadpool. The X-Force. Um, i trying to think what else we had that season. Season 2. Spy Games. That was really fun. Um... Because they, they had different types of game modes for spy games. I think that's really cool. You can choose your angel. You can choose your loadout and everything. So this season, it's everything that I had. And it was way shorter and more or less spread out than season one. I'm going to put it as A. Because it's not as good as other seasons. But, okay. Come on. One more. One more. Alright, there we go. So there we go. Alright, season three. This was a summer type season. Um, this one was kind of spread out. Uh, I like that we had Aquaman as like the secret skin, but I had to wait like eight or nine weeks just to get him. Just to get Aquaman. I'm like, come on, me. Really? Um, what else? Yeah, Lose Fruit coming to the game, which is really cool. Um,. We finally we had um, Captain America come to the game, which which was awesome, uh, for the July, which kind of made it really cool. Oh, I can just go like this. <laughs> um, can I think what else we had? And before, actually, we had the uh, one event from season two, which is also why I put it as a, and that kind of made the whole map all overflow, and then the whole map was floating and everything, which was really cool. We had a lot of map changes with that. And yeah. A lot of summer type themes to it. And it was pretty good with that. So. 
So I want to put this as B. Though it wasn't drawn out as much or whatever. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Now we're on to season four. Season four, second best season of the chapter. Not gonna lie, second best. It's Marvel theme. Like, okay, so chapter one we had like a superhero themed season four, and it was like, oh my gosh, what if they actually put Iron Man in the season or whatever? And they had the San Jose team. I was like, okay, now they're definitely gonna put like Avengers in here. Well, let me know they didn't. But now, chapter two, they finally did. And it was really awesome. Iron Man, Thor, and then they even had a whole bunch of them come to the shop that, that time, too. And I was like, oh my god. And it was a great season. We had the Marvel Knockout at LTN. We had all the Super Series um, tournaments to do. Where you get free a free skin for just winning in the tournament or getting enough points. Um, all the superpowers, we had Stark Industries, all the little tiny POIs that were on the map. Um, the Stark ships or whatever they're called, the Quinjets, that have like the Stark pots in them. And then you land there, you can knock the pots and hack them, and then you can go in the ship, get loot. And if you unlock the Stark chest, you can open it and get like superpowers or whatever in it. And that, that was really good. Uh, let's see what else. We had the, the Galactus event at the end, which was really, that, that was like the cherry on top for the whole season. We had a few Party Royale concerts. We had four Nightmares with Ghostbusters. You had the Shadow Royale um, game mode that you could play. You know, you die, you turn into a ghost, and then you go and fight the people that are still alive. And then if you kill the people that are alive, for every Party Royale for the season. <laughs> so, Ghostbusters, we had Shadow Minus as like an NPC there in the middle area. Um, ghost Henchman, I think, like Ghost Ghost Henchman. <laughs> we had a, a lot of good OG, good weapons in that season. It was just like a super, super overpowered season. It was great. So, enough talk about the season. We're going to put it in S. Not D. If I can put it there. <laughs> so, this is the S rating one because it's... It was such a great season. It had so much to it, and it was amazing. All right, the end event, all the stuff in it, the events and stuff, amazing. All right, season five. Season five is hands down my most favorite season. Okay, because at the start of it, um, like the well, not the start of it, the very end of season four, um, while we wait for downtime or whatever, or I don't know, no, no, maybe it was during downtime or something like that. We were waiting for the new season. But I think it was either before the event or after when we were waiting for downtime and everything. Um, the somebody leaked the uh, one of the companies that has a games on their um, consoles leaked the uh, like three skins of the battle pass, and one of them was Mandalorian, and I was really happy about that. So then. So the main skin in the middle was Mandalorian. I was like, oh my gosh, Mandalorian is coming to the game. And then I see Baby Yoda too. And I'm like, yes. And then we get to the new season. I see Mandalorian. I'm like, yes. But I know what even was better is he was tier one. Tier one. And I was like, okay. But then I had to get all the way to tier 100 to get Baby Yoda. I'm like, thank you. So... And then I was like, we were just learning a new season. There was um, Salty Towers, where it was like Salty Springs. Until the towers mixed in one, which I really loved. I love that. Two old GPOIs just mixed together. I'm like, yes. uh Let's see, we had Butter Barn, which was kind of cool. You go in there and then start bounties. And that's the season where you just go to bounty board, start bounties, get gold. Buy stuff from characters, start, do whatever. And I was like, cool. Good season. And then every update, we started getting new bounty hunters in the game. I was like, Kratos, I think, was the very first one. And I was like, Kratos? Okay, yep, find that. And then after that, they they teased out that Halo, or Master Chief from Halo, was going to come to the game. I was like, okay, this season started getting better. And then after that, the Game Awards, they they... 
showed us a good, a really good trailer, and that was for the Walking Dead collab, the very first Walking Dead collab, and I was like, okay, this this is even better season, Star Wars, Gaming Legends, and um, Walking Dead, okay, and then after that, they had a whole bunch of other characters, Terminator, which they made it better, and then Street Fighter, and then Alien, and the Flash, Tron, Snake Eyes, I'm trying to think of every single one of them. Um, Predator, I think his name is. Yeah, Predator. Predator, right? Predator, Secret Skin. And then we had like the Mandalorian weapons and Big Jetpack coming to the game as weapons. And I was like, that we got a new mythic this season, so that's even better. And it was overall pretty good. We got everything. We had a lot of collabs, a lot of good stuff. It was Star Wars, like, it was like, I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. And then, I don't remember exactly what happened at the end. Like, we just started in downtime after that season, and then went to season six. So I was like, okay. Like, the, the, we just, it was just, we were just waiting for the day, and then I was like, okay, now downtime is going to start this time. It, this day and this time. I'm like, okay, cool. And then we had the Zero Crisis event, which I'll go into that once I get to season six, which will be next. Um, so, season five, you already know where to go on. Right there. Right up in there. There we go. Alright, so season six now. Season six, I just gotta say. Probably my least favorite season in this chapter. Least favorite. Not gonna lie. Okay. Because. It was just really. I don't know. It was just. It was bad. <laughs> the weapons. All weapons were just changed and everything. And we didn't have. We didn't have like the good. We didn't have no good weapons. We had like two shotguns. And that was it. We didn't have no purple pump. We didn't have no gold pump. We just had. Oh, so we upgraded it. We couldn't get it on the map. In a chest. Or nothing like that. Um. But we get a gray pump, gray pump, blue, green pump, and a blue pump. And that's all we can get. Other than the one shotgun we had, the primer shotgun that we had. And that shotgun was kind of, yeah. That shotgun was kind of not really good. That was the only good shotgun you could use, and the AR was kind of, eh. The ARs were kind of not really good. The bows were cool. I like the bows. Because it was like, we didn't have a sniper, so... Yeah, weapons were, that was the one big thing, is weapons, and then all the animals around the map, you know, you have a freaking Pumbaa rubbing, rubbing you in the butt when you're trying to walk past, it, going, and then your health goes like 25% down. The frogs, they just croak and like, you know, you're trying to hear somebody's steps, but then you hear the freaking frogs, creak, 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 creak. and the chickens are just like, you're trying to chase them so you can grab them and use them, and it's like, get over here, get your, eat over here. And they just keep running away. And the wolves, they would just attack you. You hear that, Arr! and then they just come your way and they start attacking you. It's like, crap. And then they had raptors, and I was like, well, ain't that the cherry on top? And the raptors would come after you, and it's like, totally just jump at you. And go, whoosh, step on you, and then bite you, and then claw you, and then you're dead. <laughs> and then it's like, really, and then they have like really high health. And it's like, how am I supposed to kill this guy? But, and then we had, the Battle Pass was good, because we had Aina Jones, Laura Croft, and Raven, all three good skins, and then, well, actually, the whole Battle Pass was pretty good, and then we had Cluck, which is really good, um, 200 was kind of after me, Secret Skin was kind of after for me, it was another Icon Seer skin for me to have, I was like, okay, but it was no one I really know, so, but now I do know him, <laughs> and Mario Jr., but, um, probably the best part of the season was the start of it. <laughs> I was gonna say that the start of it because you got the battle pass you had the zero crisis event which is really cool then we had a few events here and there and then we had beast boy coming to the game which I really like that because beast boy I like I do like him because he gets turn into monkey <laughs> um, we had batman later coming to the game a new version of batman and then we had zero rise and zero dawn the one girl from there coming to the game which I liked it's still the worst season because it just 
you know, the collabs and stuff that were in it were good, but it's just the other stuff, like, it's like 25% of what was the season and everything else was just like piling and just covering it and wasn't, it just made it look bad, so I just didn't really like it, so that's gonna go in D. Okay, well, actually, well, let's put it in C, actually, because D, it's, D, if it's really, really bad, but it wasn't too bad, you know, it wasn't, well, it's not an F either, so it wasn't, wasn't horrible, but it was decent. All right, so season seven. Oh my god. Really great season. We had aliens, new weapons coming in here and there. Every, like, update here and there. A lot of collabs. We had Rick Sanchez and Superman the Battle Pass, which was really cool. Um, we had J Balvin, J Balvin, whatever, Balvin, coming into the item shop. Uh, we also had Wonder Woman, we had Mecha Morty, yeah, and then we had the Rift Tour, which was a really good event, which made Ariana Grande into the game, and it was like, yes, because everyone's been talking about that, Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande is going to come to the game, and that's been a theme for a little while, right, and I'm like, well, finally they'll do it, and they did, and the Rift Tour was probably really amazing, because one of my favorite songs was at the start, and it just... It was really cool, and then when you, when you choose the skin, it shows in the little, at the end of the intro of the event, and it was like, that's cool. Let's see, the stuff that we had in-game. We had the abductors in the game. Go in there, fight other people, get um, Dragon Balls, and get really good loot by doing that. Um, UFOs that you can fly around and take and freaking kill people with, which is really awesome. Um, so. We had Holly Hedges turn to like, I forgot what it was called, but it was turned to a whole alien place. A whole gravity alien place. Uh, let's see. Don't know. Uh, we had LeBron James in there. Um, Booga had a skin. An item shop. Finally. LeBron James had a nice collab. Throw a lot of few more emotes in the shop and everything. Um, a lot of storyline stuff going on through the whole season. Sky or Sunny. We had Cosmic Summer, I remember that. Cosmic Summer was really good with that. We got three rewards, new skins. It was just like back in Season 9, Chapter 1. It was like, oh, yes. And we had the real gun, which is one of my favorite snipers in there, because I could keep up with that. And, and then we had the... Skyfire event, which was really, really cool, which was amazing, okay, it was, it was awesome, um, I mean, like, you see all the cubes, you see the cube coming out of the ground, it's like, <laughs> and then you're like, oh my gosh, and then we explode off the freaking thing, and then, whatever, and this whole season was pretty good, pretty dang good, so this season is gonna go in A rating with that. Uh, would I say it's better? It's like Travis Scott versus Ariana Grande. <laughs> it's like, who should I vote for in this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go like that. <sighs> okay. Season 7 was better than season 2. Here we are with the final season. Chapter 2, season 8. Where we are right now. We have the Battle Pass, which has... Um, Carnage has 200 skin, the secret skin being the Cube Queen, which we didn't know that at the start. Fortnite Mirrors, which was like 75% of our freaking updates. Well, the middle of updates, like 18.3, 18.20, 18.30, 18. Yeah, we had like Carnage and Venom Mythics at the start of the season for that. And then... Fortnite mirrors, which kind of decay, like went downwards at the end. Like it was, it was, it was like a roller coaster. Fortnite mirrors were a roller coaster. First week was really good. Second week, years. Third week, okay. Fourth week, year. And then for me, at least, the well, fourth week was kind of like in the middle. And then after that, we had eighteen point forty update. Which we had to wait like three weeks for. And in that update we got Naruto. Which was 
amazing. I was like, yes, Naruto. Because Naruto is a really good show. You guys should go watch it if you haven't. If you can't watch it, try to find, try to ask a friend whenever you go to their house or whatever, ask them they watch it. Or if they have Netflix or, or a normal TV to watch it on, you know. We had Rick Grimes, which is really awesome. They had Frankenstein, which is really cool. Cause, Shadow Midas, finally. The Zombie Heroes. Three Rewards. Um, the big giant monsters come in the game. We had Horde Rush Return, which is amazing. And then the sideways areas that we could go to. Full zombies, whatever. We had here and there kind of collabs and stuff. We had Ghostbusters come back in the shop and with a new emote. And now we're just waiting for the end event. And then, what well, else? We're waiting for the new Jordan collab, which is kind of eh. And then, um, just the end event, and that's it. So, this season was pretty good. Not gonna lie. It was good. It was good enough. Was it horrible? It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what I put this at, actually. Like, honestly. Like, I don't know where I'd put this. I want to put it at B, but then it's like, these seasons are kind of lower than that season. You know, because I could just do this. Boom. Like that. That's how I put that. Yeah, that works. That's how it's going to go. So this is my whole tier list right here. So season 5, season 4 are my favorite seasons. They just had a whole bunch of content. Changes, collabs, everything. Um, game modes. It was, just, it was just full of stuff to do. And a whole bunch of stuff that I really liked in there. While other seasons were like, yeah, cool. And it was like, no, that's not really cool. Like, season 6 didn't have much. It was, it was like season 1. It was drawn out. But it had a little bit more stuff. But it was just, I just didn't like it because the weapons and everything were just messed up. But yeah, there's my tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... I don't know what to say, but that's it. Um, you guys can go watch my locker showcase that I uploaded or live streamed a few or a day ago. And you guys can go look that. Watch it for four hours if you want to or scroll through until you find something you like that you just check in if I have it or not, you know. If you don't see it, well, you just look there for nothing and I just got to you. <laughs> but you guys can go look at that. Go look at my Naruto montage. And tomorrow will be another new video, because this whole week is, I'm just uploading stuff that can lead up to Chapter 3, and stuff that I don't normally do for this channel, that I'm going to start doing every chapter, or maybe every season. But, yep, so without further ado, I'm going to head out, hit like button, subscribe, comment down below what's your favorite season, or how would you put these in a tier list, like what would your thing be like what are your top what is what is an s what is an a what is in b what is in c and what is in d put down below in the comments what's your favorite season what's your favorite collab what's your favorite ltm anything that has to do with chapter two just to remember just so i can have comments to see you just to come back to and read whatever when it's chapter three chapter four <laughs> yeah. but without further ado i will see you guys in the next video which will be tomorrow I don't know what video is going to be tomorrow, but you guys will see it, and we'll call it good. Alright, deuces.